Hi, I'm Eleanor. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided to make a Renaissance Elizabeth York um, fantasy, a red dress with fabric I had left from making something else. So the first thing I did was drape a pattern on my mannequin. I don't really know very much about draping patterns, but this is just kind of how I do it. So if you do it a different way, don't attack me. Just, you know, that's how I do it anyways. Then I went ahead and draped the back. Also, what the hell is this camera angle? It's so awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what I was doing here, but I'm like 90% sure I was making a mock-up, sort of. I don't know why I wrote on them, but there you go. So the next thing I did was make a mock-up, so here you can see me sewing all the pieces together. So the next thing I did was cut out the lining, um, the interlining, interfacing, whatever you want to call it, and the main fabric out of the pattern I'd made. I don't know what that pattern fabric was, it was kind of useless, but there you go. Also don't even ask why I've got three pairs of scissors, it makes no sense. Um, they just live there. I have many, many scissors, to the point where it's probably a problem. Then I pinned all of the pieces together so I could sew them. Then I just sewed down all of the bodice pieces on my machines, here you can see me sewing the lining and the outer layer and then pinning them together. So the next thing I did was um, pin them all together and then sew them on the machine, as you can see me doing here. And then I removed all the pins and flipped it inside out and I sewed the sides that were left open up and I sewed the straps together so that I could finish the bodice basically. Then I started on the sleeves and I basically just made a really large sleeve so that I could gather it. I then sewed along all the lace and then pinned loads of ribbons down so that I could have channels to put the elastic through to make the sleeve bunch up. I then repeated this on the other sleeve and you can see me doing the same process here. Also I'm so sorry for the audio quality in these clips. Then I went through and just inserted all of the elastic, which took forever, and just sewed down the sides to make them into sleeves. And then I again repeated that process on the other sleeve. Then I pinned the sleeves to the bodice to try and finish that off and sew them down. I then ended up sewing some gold trim onto the bodice to make it look pretty. Then I decided to do little stitches all across the bottom so that it would lay flat and not be all inside out and tangled. It, it makes sense. Slightly irrelevant, but my hair looks so bad in these clips, I'm so sorry. Please ignore how messy the room I'm in here is. It's very chaotic. Also, this took forever, and I kind of regret it now because you couldn't even notice on the final dress. Then I sewed two long strips down the back to stop the eyelets from pulling as much. They're no marked where the eyelets are going to be. So I've got a different microphone thing now, so maybe this voiceover should work better. I can't decide. There was audio on this clip, but I cut it out because it sounded horrible. So basically, here's me showing you that I put eyelets in and that I have pretty much finished the bodice. Uh, it doesn't really fit the mannequin, even though it's like an adjustable mannequin. I cannot explain that. To me, that makes no sense. But here is the completed bodice. Okay, so the next thing I did was sew a hem along the bottom of all the rest of the fabric and gather the top by hand. I then ended up pinning that to the bodice and sewing those together on the machine, which was not easy, but I did it. Then I unpinned that and basically just hand stitched a bunch of stuff down and sewed the back up and zigzag stitched along all the raw edges. Oh yeah, this is a bit where I'm hand stitching. I don't know why I said I was doing that earlier, but here is me hand stitching this bodice. Then I had a trim along the waistline because I didn't like the way the waistline looked. Then this is basically just me showing you how the dress looked on um, when I finished it. I was quite happy with it. The gathering was not perfect, and I wish I would have actually paid more attention to it. 
and I think I'm talking about this here, but yeah, that's what happened. Um, this is the dress, how it looks, ignore the fact that I'm in a graveyard, I was walking through there to try and find a place to get pictures, um, and my mum happened to take this very nice video showing off the dress. And these are the final pictures of how the dress looked. I'm really pleased with it, and I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching my video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, and I know you can't comment on my videos, but you can comment on my Instagram post, anything you want to see next. Um, and feel free to follow my Instagram and TikTok. I will have them linked in the description. Um, for now, that's it. Uh,